the academics, my goodness. I don't know why they're screwing over Perry and Terry. I mean, Blood Brothers, they've been dominating this match. I guess it's a personal reason. There's a is tagged into this match, but in terms of strategy, I would want to take Perry and Terry on. Because look at the way that Blood brought. I mean, who would really want to face Blood Brothers in the future? The snap suplex by Amai. The winner of this match, the, there's implications, ladies and gentlemen. Every match has a reason for being here. This is not a number one contendership match by any means, but if Blood Broad managed to defeat Perry and Terry, then they could very well become the number one contenders. It, it all depends on whether we feel they've done a good job. And right now, Blood Broad are doing a very good job. Nothing fancy about that. Just throwing Terry across the ring and letting him bump into her. And here you see Terry getting back in this match with that backbreaker. Getting a rush of adrenaline. And just like that, Amai pushing Terry out of the way. That backbreaker must have been very painful because Amai is still down. But Perry has recovered since being attacked by the academics. It has it has been a while, so and you see you see Perry has just been tagged in, ladies and gentlemen, as Gonzo watches on. And Perry making sure that Amai will not be in this match and a nice moonsault by Perry from the top of the rope he hooks the leg only acquires a two count once again I made a mistake in the ring is Amai but it's understandable they are very hard to differentiate a snap suplex by Amai she is the leader of the group for those of you that do not speak the language Amai is Shona for mother. Amai is the leader of the group. She makes a gyration. And then she goes for a splash onto Barry. Just a two count. See, the thing is, Barry actually likes to date bigger women. So, But just as I was saying that, Barry, with that Pele kick. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Perry and Terry have defeated Blood Broth. What an incredible match. Despite having a pornographic addiction, Perry was able to deliver that spinning Pele kick. And the academics had better watch out because they could be looking at the next number one contenders for those tandem titles. And let's and gentlemen, Bull Box and Booty T are still brawling in the washroom. Remember, they were in a tag team match earlier, and Bull Box could not control his temper. And they're continuing this brawl in the backstage. Oh! oh. A drop to a hold right into the toilet. That is disgusting. Perry Kid, one of the most dominant men here in Victory Road Wrestling, if not the most dominating man, ready to compete. Perry Kid imposes his will on anybody. His opponent, on Thel, he's a triathlete specializes in soccer, football, and field hockey. But Barry Cat, who's had quite the temper as of late, not even letting Ontel enter the ring on his own terms. A head and arm by Ontel. This is going to be a battle of power. Who will overpower? And Othell bringing the pace down a little bit with a headlock onto Barricade. Ladies and gentlemen, Othell has been a little bit upset. He hasn't been getting those big victories. The thing about Othell is that he should be taking on people on his level, but 
he wants to rush it a little bit. He thinks that he's ready to be taking on someone the caliber of Barry Kerr, the caliber of Roderick Peters. And he ends up being humbled. A at least you think he'll be humbled because he keeps coming back for more. And who knows, maybe he's learning quickly as he takes on Barry Kerr. You gotta respect a man that likes challenge, but you see Barry Kerr with those belly to belly slams. If you have not seen it, you need to check out the last episode. Barry Kett showing his dominance. And Barry Kett with a full Nelson suplex. Throwing on Thel right onto the back of his head. A reversal by Ontel into an Irish whip of his own and he points toward Barry Kent and just drives his elbow into the chin, his forearm, that region, right into the chin of, of Barry Kent and he went for a pin but his legs were way too close to the ropes. And what does Ontel have in store? He does it once again. Right on to Barricade. And this is what I like about Ontel. A lot of resiliency and the will to fight. Folks, I'm just getting an update on Roderick Peters. He's still in critical condition. And we will try our best to give you more updates as we see Ontel choking the life out of Barricade. Needs to be a bit careful, could get himself disqualified. And Barry Kett just like that with a Death Valley driver. Only acquiring a two count is Barry Kett, much to the shock of him and the fanatics here at Victory Road resting against the ropes. Belly to belly suplex. Barricade was a very impressive Greco-Roman wrestler and he's bringing those skills here to Victory Road Wrestling using that strength to pop the hips What an episode it has been thus far against the ropes and don't tell using Barricade's momentum against him but he misses the second time allowing Barricade to apply that full Nelson and Othel having no other option but to tap out and look at the look at Barricade with absolutely no mercy let's see that again that full Nelson forcing Othel to submit and Barricade continues to dominate here in Victory Road Wrestling. I wonder who can topple the big man. For all might, we're pleased that you considered us to be a part of your team, might, and we're definitely going to work together with you to get rid of the cause, might. For all, you are going to be a legend soon, and might it's, I just can't explain to you how great this feels, Mike. So, all the best to our team, Mike. Thank you guys for joining my team. It means a lot to me. Uh, it's been very stressful. I didn't know making a team would be so stressful, but everyone that I've asked has been very cooperative and gentlemanlike, and I just thank you to, and I'm sure you guys are going to make great additions to our team. Approaching the ring, Cindy Citrus. She's a lady who is all about positivity. And she had better be positive as she's taking on a very depressed lady. I hope that depression doesn't get to Cindy Citrus. More on that later. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Little do you know, I personally asked for this match. And there's suicide. Uh, she seems to have a few words for Cindy Citrus. I did not see this coming. Let's see what else she has to say. You're probably wondering why. It's because my prized scissors has been missing. 
Cindy, you think I would have noticed that today your hair is looking extra vibrant? You needed my scissors. That scissors was passed down to me by my great-grandmother. I find it appalling that you would use it and hide it from me. Cindy, I want that scissors back. It means a lot to me. You better give it back to me right now. Whoa, is this true? Did Cindy Citrus... Cindy Citrus going for that small package? And that seat, ladies and gentlemen, Suicide was not paying attention. And that allowed Cindy Citrus to go for that small package. Let's see that again. Suicide was running her mouth and she paid for it. With that small package. And ladies and gentlemen, did Cindy Citrus take suicide scissors? The world really wants to know, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. Hello, my name is Penelope Plumper. We advertised the main event to be Boron Stone against Roderick Peters prior to the events that occurred on the last episode. As a result, we have spoken to Boron Stone, and we have given him permission to choose his opponent for the main event. And it can be anybody. Nobody is exempt. Anybody on the roster that is active can take on Boron Stone. So Boron Stone, I'm pretty sure you're going to make an excellent selection, and I wish you all the best in your match. Folks. A few episodes ago, there was supposed to be a hardcore match to be broadcasted on this show. But due to some people being easily offended, the match was forced to not show on the air. Now, after many court dates and a lot of debates with our opposers, we have finally been given the permission to show this match. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just want to warn you that the following match is very violent. Approaching the ring first, Shu Shine, the Slovakian legend with the Slovakian sword. The second man to approach the ring, Booty T, with that chair that I'm pretty sure a lot of booties have been on. Patrick with that trophy, that undeserved trophy. Can he win this match, ladies and gentlemen? The press, a controversial journalist turned professional wrestler with that newspaper looking to whack someone over the head with it. Odell has been working out and he's gonna use some equipment from that workout to work the head of his opponent. Getting this crowd involved is Odell. He's probably the favorite to win this match because muscular men can take on more pain. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be a very brutal match. The only way to win basically is pinfall or submission there are no disqualifications and when you see the ring you're going to see why look at all of these weapons this match is underway and the crowd is going crazy if you are squeamish I really suggest that you do not watch this match because it's going to be crazy as Booty T using that metal sheet and the press with that pipe and oh my goodness Shushan just driven through the glass pan using that Slovakian where were thought to get up though very hard to call a match like this there are weapons everywhere someone could suffer a serious injury the reason we have this match is we said hey why not why don't we just have a hardcore match like this I, I don't think it's ever been done before in the history of professional wrestling a double team by Booty T and the Slovakian legend Shushai but Shushan feeling the effects of earlier in this match 
ladies and gentlemen, the press going for a cover, but it was interrupted.